hi everyone it's Tolani and welcome back to my youtube channel today i'm going to be showing you this type of exposure transition right inside no video editing i've been seeing a lot of this type of exposure transition in reality tv show and some big youtuber use it in their video content to transit from one clip to another or to hide cut in between two clips so i thought of showing you guys how to do that right inside no video editing app cc and if you're new to my channel please be sure to hit the like button subscribe and turn the channel bell so without further ado let's dive in All right, I have these two clips right here, um, a time lapse and a man playing with uh, a baseball, as you can see it right here. So I'm going to be showing you how you can transit in between two cuts right here in the video editing app. Another advantage of using the video editing app in editing your video is that it allows you to save it as a preset so you don't have to go through all of the strenuous editing over and over again. You can just save it as preset and drag and drop it on your next video and it's going to perform that same awesome and it's going to perform that same awesome transition as well so i'm going to be showing you how to do that right away so first of all let's create this transition so what you want to do now is to come to this plus icon then you go to adjustment layer you want to apply that onto the adjustment layer so you want to come down right here and adjust this uh, a little bit don't worry just adjust it right here and bring your timeline towards to the where the cut actually starts exactly so you want to count 10 frame for 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 right so you want to drag this towards that 10 frame and you want to do the same 10 frame to the other side of the clip as well you want to count again 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 so awesome so you have the 10 frame of your adjustment layer so what you want to do next is to apply the effect onto this adjustment layer so you want to come down to this effect panel then go to um go to your asset store then you come to your blur then you're gonna come down to gaussian blur you're gonna apply the gaussian blur to your adjustment layer so as you can see the adjustment layer has now as the gaussian blur effect so what you want to do now is to animate this gaussian blur into the next clip right there as you can see you want to animate it to this next clip so what you're gonna be doing now is to come down to this um to your gaussian blur and open up this uh time keyframe this right here and make sure you come to the end of the video cut right here at this spot right here before the next awesome so you want to come down here and set the um the blur length of the of the gaussian blur to about 50 you want to type 50 right here All right then you want to bring it back to uh somewhere around right here and set the gaussian blur back to zero set it back to zero sorry it's okay so now you've got that then you want to come bring it uh, around somewhere here again and set this again to zero um good so now you want to drag this uh to the end of the clip and drag this other way to the end of the clip right now when we play this clip right off you see what this actually mean please now bring the awesome blur as you can see it right here awesome right let's play that again can you see how awesome the transition of the blur effect so actually this is not what we want to get but this is part of the way to get what we want so as you can see it right there is awesome so what you want to do now is to what is to ease ease this keyframe right here then you're gonna come down here i like them just drag this a little bit to the front and what i light all of this keyframe right here and click on this and uh sorry i like this to keyframe and make sure you align them again you want to see this continue busy you're going to click on it and drag this back to where you pick that sorry they have been alighted you want to click on this and drag all this to the end of the clip right there good so what you want to do now is since we have this awesome transition let's play it and see what we have so far awesome right as you can see the blur length is starting and what's becoming more 
healed him meant it started as you can see the blood length starts all from a well inclined as you can see from the graph and what show up the next clip so what we want to do now is after we add the discussion blow perfectly so what we want to add now is the exposure to bring this transition to life so you want to click on the plus icon then you want to come down to color grading and you want to see these uh basic color corrections then you want to come down to tune that is where you can see the exposure and the gamma these are the two we need open up the uh the keyframe and for the gamma just for the two alone and you want to come down to the beginner of the, you can just set it somewhere around here and you move it bring it before the cut right here uh perfect this exactly so what you want to do now is to what is to set the exposure the exposure length to about 1.0 so you want to click it and all set it to 1.0 and hit on okay as you can see right here the exposure of that has increased in length as you can see it right here so what you want to do now is to what is to bring it is to bring your timeline somewhere around here and set the exposure length back to zero the way you do for the uh for the Gaussian blur you want to set it back to zero right here and drag this uh this keyframe right here drag it to the end of the of the adjustment layer then you come somewhere around here as well and set this back to zero good it's okay then you bring this uh this keyframe as well sorry oh, i didn't make mistake all right is this one right here i'm gonna drag this uh all the way to the beginning of the clip right there so what what i'm doing now is to click on this icon is used to switch from one keyframe to another i'll click switch to this keyframe and set your uh, you know, first keyframe for your gamma as well you want to set your gamma center to about 0 0.47 0 0.47 uh i think it's good you can increase it you can play around with that as well you want to come down to this as well around this area and set it back to zero it's pretty easy if you've been for a lot of this video so far please be sure to hit the like button and subscribe if you haven't yet already so you as you can see right here i'm gonna drag this all the way to the end of the sorry all the way to the end of the clip right there then i'm gonna come down to this as well clicking by clicking on this uh this keyframe switch I'm gonna set this back to zero as well. Uh, zero point zero. It's on. Okay, good. So now you wanna come down and easy ease all of these keyframe right here, as you did for the Gaussian blur effect. You wanna bring this and light all of this and set to continue busy and drag this all the way back to its exact positions. You wanna do the same thing for these two effects you just created. So to bring these uh the exposure blur transition to live you want to click on this and continue busy then drag this all the way back so with this i think this awesome transition has come to life so let's view it and see what we have so far awesome can you see that awesome transition seamless transition right there and i'm going to show you guys how you can save it as a preset so you don't have to go through this tedious work over and over you can just drag you can just save it as preset and drag and drop on your next video clip and for those of you asking me about about where you can get the no video editing app preset pack which i created that has a lot of awesome transitions and so many test effects shakes and anime editing presets you guys can check out that on my patreon page by supporting me you have all access to all of these new video presets by just dragging and drop them onto your clips you have the awesome effect so i hope you guys check me out and i'm going to be seeing you guys so now we have this awesome transition right here so what you can bring it to light is to add some uh whoosh effect or kind of sound design to make it come to life as you can see if you can remember you see a lot of these on what on tv show as you can see right here it's going to transit from one clips to another and so many try so many videos will also use it so now it's time for saving it as a preset so as you can see right here 
after creating that you can close all of these right up as you can see so your preset is set for what for export and save as preset so i'm going to show you that so as you can see right here all you have to do is just simple you can just delete all this clip right here because you want to you want to save it as custom preset so you don't want it to come along with the video so you can click you can delete all these two clips but make sure you have already export your project before you delete that so i want to delete this um this too because i only need this adjustment layer i want to save it as my preset so i can use it in the next project and you want to click on this effect right here and you want to come down to this uh hq and you're going to come down to this and toggle off this append template right here and make sure you set this to preferred option right here and hit on export and this is going to be exporting this as a preset as you can see it has export as a preset right here all right so as you can see it has export as a preset so you want to click on ok so what you want to do now is to bring in your video clips onto the timeline and what apply it so i'm going to be undo all the delete i've done to the next so i'm going to come down right here and delete this one we've just created and i want to show you how you can import the template as well and use it and also and if you have already downloaded my preset pack on my patreon page this is how you can as well import it into the new video editing app and apply it to your video clips to have this amazing effect you want to come down to this import then go to template this will allow you to bring in the downloaded preset which you download so the one i'm going to be searching for right here is uh let me use exposure blur because i have a lot of templates right here and presets as you can see them right here so i'm gonna search for it um sorry i'm searching for it um all right right here this is the this is the template this also included in the preset pack which you're gonna be downloading so note video as you can see it has import this as well so let me click on this and as you can see this preset come with a, a pack as you can see this pack you want to open up the pack and bring in this exposure transition effect right here and delete the pack because you don't need the pack as you can see now this is exposure transition which i'm going to all you want to do now is to make sure you align this to before the cut so you can have that nice transition right there just make sure you align it awesome so let's play this and let's see what we have so far So can you see that is exactly what we just created and we save it as preset so we don't have to do that same strenuous or time or tedious work again you just have to drag and drop them this transition pack also comes with the no video editing 101 essential pack which i created you guys can get it in my patreon page as like i said by supporting me so as you can see so hope you get value out of this video if you did please hit that like button it really helped my channel to grow more and hope so you guys enjoyed this video and if you did please hit the like button and consider subscribing if that is what you are into so right now what we're gonna be doing now is this is our ready-made project all you have to do now is to come to export and export the project so you set this as very high because you want to have and make sure you are toggle this because you don't want to save it as preset so all you want to do is hit on your export and your project will be export so i'll see you guys in the next tutorial love you guys bye for now